In Rust, the ability to immediately respawn on a sleeping bag anywhere around the map can be so useful during your wipe. Being able to rejoin a fight or avoid bag timers can increase your chance of recovery in some of the worst moments of your wipe. And often you won't realise how much you regret not placing bags until it's just too late. I still constantly have to remind myself to place more bags and not a single wipe goes by where the need for more spawn points doesn't impact me in some way or another. You'll definitely develop this habit over time, but if you're anything like me, this is one of those rust tips that I really wish had sunk in sooner. If you're not sure why bags are so important, it's good to know that there are many reasons why you'll need to spawn on a certain bag. You could be rejoining fights, grabbing your lost kit off the ground, avoiding bag timers or repositioning better on someone who's outside your base. They can also be useful to reduce travel time and distance for resource runs and can make getting to central parts of the maps much easier. Not to mention when combined with kits hidden in stashes, a well placed bag can actually give you the upper hand in a tough fight. When looking to place a bag, try to think where you're most likely to get into fights or where you spend the most time. To start out, place bags around your base because while you may have a bed or a bag in the base, if you need to respawn multiple times in quick succession, having more than one bag to choose from can help you avoid bag timers and get straight back to gearing up. The same goes for any secondary bases, farm bases and flank bases. Having options at all of these locations is going to be helpful for you in a raid situation. For situations where you've been killed at a monument, you'll want to make sure that you have bags surrounding the key monuments of your wipe. And as you don't know where in the monument you will need to return to, it's not a bad habit to surround the monuments you know you'll be running a lot. You also want to be placing bags to make frequent journeys easier. I place bags whenever I first visit Outpost and Bandit Camp. These are normally the first safe zones that you arrive at during the wipe and are great locations to farm up some early scrap, so place a bag here at the start. I also tend to spam a bunch of bags around local tier 1 monuments even though I don't spend a great deal of time at them throughout the wipe. If I need to grab a quick green card early on, I can respawn at Lighthouse and run home again looking naked and harmless. It's normally just a good habit to get into bringing one or two sleeping bags with you most journeys. Place one as you leave the base and head off in a certain direction and then place another one either as you arrive at your destination or when you believe a fight's about to take place. These tips apply to all players but as a solo I feel placing bags is so important. While you may stand up after being down, there's generally no second chances and often the best action to take is F1 and respawn as quickly as possible. If you have a bag close enough, you may be able to get there just before they do and give yourself a chance to get back in the fight. And honestly, sometimes it just works out so perfectly, so just have faith that every bag will at one point save you and your loot. With that all said, placing so many bags will eat into your cloth, but don't let that reduce the number of bags you place, they're still so important to have. Just instead of making it a one-time activity, you can build these bags up over time. As I mentioned before, get in the habit of taking two bags with you every trip out of the base during the first day of wipe. Then try to be consistently bringing out more and more as cloth supplies allow. The bags will build up and your respawn map will fill with spawn points ready and waiting for you when you need them most. While I know this is such basic advice, I really wanted to make a big point of this as I feel this is one of those habits that I wish I'd improved on much sooner and I hope this helps you to do so. Thanks so much for watching.